Hello everyone and welcome in our 15th video update. Today we are going to talk about swords because we promised them to the highest backers on Kickstarter and we finally started to produce them uh, in our forge. Uh, these swords are really actual combat ready swords. They could be even pretty sharp and they are handmade, forged with a hammer in hand. We had to finally agree on all those elements. So this sword is basically uh, takes origin in a oak shot sword typology, I guess, or, or think that it's sword number 13B, late 14th century sword. Uh, the shape, length, uh, and all the details are uh, inspired by that. It will have a, a warhorse emblem on top and a inscription, uh, itched inscription, uh, which means king, family, and revenge, because it's uh, something uh, our <laughs> lead hero uh, is after, basically. So it's uh, Rex uh, Familia et Ultio, it's in Latin. And there is a lot of work on those. Uh, we will have to develop like more than 100 of them. So currently the production is like 10 swords per month. And it's also not only uh, blacksmith's work because these coins are also uh, produced uh, or engraved by uh, engraver. Uh, and uh, they will be used as a coins as well uh, for as another reward for the backers. And also the itching uh, uh, is done by uh, other person. So there's a lot of lot of work on it. And the swords, I guess, will have even a sheet, I guess. So that's uh, something on top that we didn't even promise and it's going to be there. So uh, there's going to be a leather uh, sheet for the sword. Uh, so stop talking and let's go to the forge where you will see how they are being produced. Hi, my name is Andrzej Piskarczyk. I'm from an old blacksmithing family. My family has a history of blacksmithing going back six generations. Due to increasing demand, the firm Arma Ipona was established two years ago. Our firm forges axes, swords and knives as well as jewellery. Arma Ipona will manufacture swords for Warhol Studios. Today I'll acquaint you with swordsmithing and the process of making swords. There are two ways to make a sword, actually by hand, hand crafting, or by machine. We make swords the way they were made in the past, that is, by forging. The trend today is a bit different. Swords are usually made by machining cast blanks. We want to put some heart into these swords. We put them through fire so the handwork can be seen. The material we use is high-quality spring steel. The steel has good resilience, good hardness and good temperability, suitable for making swords. Here I have a sample already made. The first original which just needs to have the coins inset in the pummel. I would separate the manufacture into three phases. First, the making of the blade. The blade has to be forged first. After forging and perfect straightening of the material, the blade goes to the tempering shop, where it's refined. After tempering comes grinding. The blade has to be roughly ground on a big grinder and then polished on small grinders using various grades of sanding belts. The fuller is also ground out during this process. It's not forged due to the fact that the material in the groove must not be compacted and must be more flexible than the edge. The second phase is the making of the cross guard and pommel. First, the cross guard has to be forged. A hole is punched through it and it's mounted on the ready blade and then the whole thing is honed and polished. The tang, the hilt part of the blade, is formed. The pommel is mounted on it and the sword is riveted. Then the sword is sent to the leather worker, who makes the leather hilt and fixes it on the sword. It is important for the sword to be balanced. In the past it was balanced mostly so that it would handle well, and today it's balanced for the same reason. 
In the case of a one-handed sword like this one, the center of gravity should be about one palm up from the cross guard. We try to use ancient procedures according to tradition, according to how our ancestors made swords. Naturally, we use more modern technology to make production more effective, but still adhere to the ancient procedures. If we want to compare the quality of a machine sword with a forged one, we must take into account how the sword is made. The forged sword. The blade is forged, the material is compacted. Its crystalline structure is compacted and the sword is then much more resistant to wear. Unlike a machine sword, which basically does not go through the fire and hammer blows. Handcrafting is obviously more time consuming. It takes a lot longer to make the sword than if it's made by machine. But then the sword would never look like it does when it's made by human hands, because the machine has no heart and can't shape the material like the man wants it. We make our swords according to the procedures we've created, and they have gone through a trial by fire. So that's it. Uh, I hope you liked it. Uh, if you are one of the 100 backers who uh, will get this sword, uh, go to our webpage and don't forget to fill your address so we have a, uh, we know where to ship it. Uh, if you would like to have a sword but didn't back the game, you still have a chance to get a sword uh, if you pre-order a limited edition of the game on our webpage. It's going to be a little bit different sword than the one I showed, but uh, very similar. And if you are interested in the other uh, rewards that we promised to the backers, like coins, uh, dices, uh, engraving and stuff, uh, we will definitely make a video about those as well. So uh, stay tuned for future updates. Bye.